the first thing I'm gonna do, just like for guacamole, that isn't uh, grilled up and charred, is you wanna get some acid and salt on your onion and chili pepper. So I took four thick slices of red onion, sprayed it down with a little cooking spray or drizzle it with a little oil, throw it on the grill. I use skewers to make it easier to turn the onions and so it won't fall down in the grill grates if you're cooking outdoors. But we wanna get the flavor, the juice, to, to come running out of the onion. So don't salt it before you put it on the grill. Grill it up, get it a little bit tender. You want it tender, crisp. Chop it up, throw it into the bowl, and immediately get some acid and salt on it. Salt draws out liquid. The lime juice, in this case, will start breaking down the onions, and they're gonna give off all of this delicious juice that makes the guacamole super, super flavorful. If the limes feel like they're tight and they're not gonna give you a lot of juice for your margaritas or your guacamole, throw them in the microwave on high for about 15 seconds and it really gets the juices flowing. I also like to throw the chilies in at this point as well. I took a couple of jalapenos, I seeded them and took the ribs out, which is where the heat lives in any chili pepper. If you like things extra spicy, leave the ribs and seeds in and throw the pepper on the grill whole. Again, you're just charring it, you still want a little color and bite left to it. You don't want them to turn army green on you. Run your knife through, grab that up, drop it down in with the salt and the acid, and you'll get all those great flavors combining and waiting for your avocado and tomato. Tomatoes are only good such a short time of the year. It's a terrific piece of advice to throw them on the grill um, or pop them into an oven just to concentrate their flavor anytime that they're not perfect. You know, it's such a short season for them. Uh, we've got our avocado as well just halved and a little sprinkle of salt, put it cut side down. Now I even toast up the chips, just throw your store-bought tortillas in the oven for a couple of minutes, right before you're ready to serve. It'll make them really nutty and deepen their flavor and they'll take, a, take on a different, um, different quality. Nutty, it gets really nutty and good around the edges. Let's pop these in here, start warming them up. All right, we've got all of our beautiful avocado down in there. I was chopping up our charred tomato over the break. I still have half left to go. I leave them in. I leave the seeds and the little bit of pulp that's left in because we threw them on the grill and that dried them out a little bit. So that little bit of liquid won't hurt anybody. Throw that in there. Handful of cilantro. And that's it. Just give this a stir or a mash, depending on how chunky you like it. Now, I am going to transfer this into our little serving dish over here, mound it way up. Oh, that looks so beautiful. And then, Joe, you gotta back it up, because I gotta put this on the table. I'm gonna bring this over to the table so it's waiting for our guests, and we'll get them right back down. Pop this down. Yeah, you're lovely flowers, but we can't eat you.